Hi there, welcome to a new week. I have some important information for you about this week because we are completing that NWEA test this week. Um, please, please, please look at this week your Students Class Connect schedule just so you know where to be when because this is a week that we're starting our study hall schedule and it's also a week that we have testing. So Tuesday and Thursday's classes will be different from Monday and Friday. So please check your Class Connect schedule, make sure your student knows where they need to be and when. All of the sessions are required. Of course, homeroom assembly, that's required. Lunch bunch is optional, but we have a lot of really important things going on this week um, with that NWEA test. There are two tests that your student needs to take. There was emails that went out last week. There's been a lot of communication already, but if you have any questions about that, please reach out as soon as possible because we would love to make sure that that is all um, clarified for you and you are ready for this week. Like I said, our study hall schedule is starting this week, May 10th. That just means that your student has one class per day starting May 10th. So starting on Monday, instead of having math and ELA class, they'll just have one class. Students who are on track, they'll be working on projects and doing other various activities with one teacher. And then students who have overdue assignments and have those individualized plans created, another teacher will be working with them to try to get them to be working on assignments during that live session. And then the most important thing that's happening this week is the NWEA testing. This is the last time that your student has to take this test for second grade, which is amazing news because I know that it has been stressful in the past. There are a few students who already took the end of the year NWEA test, so if that is you, please disregard this, but for the most part, the majority of students need to take this. We just had a couple of students who started a few weeks ago, and so admin went ahead and just tested them when they first started, but Mostly everyone is taking this test this week on Tuesday and Thursday. I just want to remind you that that NWEA test, it's just some feedback for us as a school. It's letting us know where your students started when they first started at our school and now what's been their growth compared to that start date. That's what we want to see. We're focusing on the growth. So we would just wanna remind you that this is a required test. It is important that they try their best on this. We do really wanna get some accurate results and just really see that growth. I also wanted to just point out that everyone's growth looks really, really different, especially when you're talking about education. Everybody's growth looks so different and we know that students have grown in so many different ways this year. We do recognize that. And this is just a way to get some feedback for the teachers, for our school, just to make sure that students are growing. But I just wanna remind you that growth, it just, it looks different. You know, sometimes a lot of that growth is underneath the surface and a lot of times you don't see growth until later in a child's education experience. I know for me personally, my growth in reading was very delayed, to be honest with you. When I was in second grade, I was not a good reader in second grade and my family and the teachers were worried. But as I matured and as I just kept trying and my mom just kept providing me those books and just kept encouraging me, that growth happened. It just was kind of below the surface a little bit. And later on in my life, it took off. But it's different for everyone. And then there are some students that you know, their growth, is, their growth is above the surface and you're gonna see it and it's gonna be very apparent. But I just wanna remind you to um, just encourage your student this week and just remind them that we're looking for growth. We just wanna see, you know, how they're doing. We wanna get some feedback that this is a test, but it does not define them. It does not say whether or not they're going to be successful in life. It does not say whether or not they're gonna move on to third grade. It's just a way to see a check-in of where they're at. So I just wanted to point that out because I do think it's important to talk about. And I also just wanted to remind you that we are gonna do a practice test and login test during class on Monday. So it'd be great if you learning coaches could be there in class on Monday. If you can't because you're working, you know, whatever that might be, it's okay, but it would be nice, I bet, for your students to just have that support as they do that kind of practice login and just kind of get ready to take that test on Tuesday. They're gonna take the first test on Tuesday and they'll take the second test on Thursday. 
like I said, you really need to check out that Class Connect schedule on their plan to see what time that test is. It's going to be different for everyone. It's going to be different than their Class Connect session on Monday. So it is really important that you check that out. Also, just a few reminders, just a few things to point out with NWEA, things to know when and where, like I said, Tuesday and Thursday, you need to check your Class Connect schedule because it's different for everyone. Emails should have gone out last week and the week before letting you know when your student is taking that test. So you can even search in your inbox and try and find that from us if you um, need to know. And then there's also just going on OLS and looking at your Class Connect schedule. But please check that as soon as possible so you are prepared and you know when your student needs to be where. So Tuesday's reading, Thursday is math. Each session will have a test session name and a password, just like before. Everyone's taken this test before, so this should go pretty smooth, but you will need to get those um, when you log in, that session name and that password. So please be on time for those sessions. What you need, you need your mic and your webcam working, those are required. And then just make sure that Chrome is updated, Firefox is updated, whatever browser you're using, just make sure that it's updated so it'll work the best. Before you test, this has been something that's been a struggle. We did have an issue with pop-up blockers before, but that has been fixed by the NWEA testing site. This is really the only issue that a lot of students are having now is that display settings. So make sure you go into your display settings and make sure they're set to 1024 by 768. And there's some steps here on how to do that if you wanna pause this video and just check that on your student's computer. I highly recommend that just to, you know, create one less barrier for Tuesday when you are taking the test. Um, but we would really appreciate it if you could just make sure that the computer is ready to go, your child's ready to go. Um, we talked about some test taking strategies in class last week, and those definitely apply for NWEA. So ask your student, hey, what did you learn about those tests? Like, what did you take away from that test taking strategy? What's something that we could do to prepare for Tuesday and Thursday for that NWEA test. You know, they might say something like, eat a healthy breakfast, get a good night's rest the night before, um, be positive. Those are all things that we talked about together. And so I highly recommend asking your student, checking in with them, hey, how are you gonna be successful? How are you going to do your best on this test? So those are my tips for you. Feel free to use or lose, but I just wanna make sure everyone is prepared, everyone knows what's going on. Here's the calendar one more time if you just need that. If you want to screenshot it, save it on your phone or your computer just so you have it. This week is the start of study hall, like I said, and then testing. Next week should be pretty simple and pretty straightforward. And then the next week is our last week of school. And the last day is on May 28th. I will provide more details about this last week in next week's newsletter. I'll talk about our parties that we'll have and our awards assembly and our slideshow, but this newsletter is really just to focus on NWEA. So thank you so much for your time, and we're really looking forward to this week.